Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome back to my podcast, or welcome to my podcast, Rewired to Inspire. I am your host, Jesse Brown, and I am very, very excited to be jumping on the microphone with you all for episode number 181. If you missed my last episode, number 180, it's probably one of my favorite episodes I've ever recorded, and I know that I throw out statements like that often. However, that episode was a really vulnerable snapshot into why it is that I'm a podcaster now in the first place and how I've gotten here through my life and what has transpired me to want to come on here twice a week and talk openly about mental health. For today's episode, I want to talk about why you can't give up and why you shouldn't give up on your dreams, on your goals, on your passions, and the importance of sticking with something. Today is November 27th upon recording this. So yesterday was my birthday. And this last week in general has just been one of the most amazing, fulfilling, aligned weeks of my life. So much so that I've had to take multiple moments to just take a step back and reflect. Last episode 180 was a keynote speech that I had given last week at at a youth mental health summit and I recorded my speech so I could turn it into a podcast episode. But upon that event, the youth mental health summit event last week, and all that kind of came up for me during that event of being able to be the keynote speaker and being the one that facilitated and organized this event to now it being my birthday and kind of jumping into a new phase of my life, a lot of reflection has come up for me. And I wanted to take a moment and come on here to talk to anybody who might be feeling like the version of me has felt for the last four years. Like you will never reap the greatness of your efforts. You will never see results of your hard work. It will never be worth it. Feeling like you're alone, feeling like no one believes in you, feeling just like what you're doing makes no sense, but it feels right in your heart. I want to talk to those people. Those of you that are maybe needing that extra boost of, well, why should I keep going? It's easy to give up on something when we don't have the results we feel we deserve, that we feel we should have. And as humans that like to have results for our actions and we like to have instant gratification, oftentimes when we embark on new journeys and we set new goals, Whenever we don't have the results that we feel we should have, a part of us wants to give up. When I first started this podcast a little over two years ago, my vision of what I thought this would look like and what it has looked like are polar opposites. Here's what we need to realize. Nothing great in life is going to be easy, nor is it supposed to, nor should we really want it to. Because if you're putting your heart and your passions into something, you shouldn't want it to just be over with, to jump to the end, to jump to the success, whatever that looks like for you. And I know when I first started this podcast, the momentum of growth was slow, very slow. None of the people that called themselves my friends, supported me. No one really shared what I was doing, but it felt right to me. And I did it because it's what made my heart happy and what I knew I was supposed to be doing. And so being aware of what your intention and focus is on when you're doing something is gonna dictate how long you stick with it. And today's episode is about why you can't give up, but that has to be around something that actually feels good and is in alignment for you. Maybe you haven't even started your thing yet out of fear. 
I opened YouTube last night as I was checking my stats and there was a comment on one of my videos that instantly set, sent me into a flood of overwhelming gratitude and tears. The, cr the crying was <laughs> coming faster than I could keep up with and I didn't know why. And I was at my partner's house when this happened and I turned to him and I just said, never in a million years did a version of me think that this was possible. There was never a version of me that ever thought I'd get to a place where people would care about my message and what I have to say. When you live so much of your life feeling like you're alone and no one believes in you, it's very overwhelming and a different feeling when you start to see the other side of that. And as I'm starting to see that for the first time, and the amount of love that I've gotten from my keynote and messages that I've gotten of saying how good it was and how much of a light I am and how other schools now want to book me in. There's a part of me that just doesn't believe that it's true. And as I've sat with it and I just keep telling myself, you deserve this. You've put in the work behind the scenes for the last four years that nobody has seen or known about. You've suffered in silence. And I know that there's so many of you out there listening that can relate to that deeply. That you've been putting in the work. You've been trying, you've been healing, you've been curious, you've been opening your mind, you've been doing the things, yet you haven't stumbled upon the results that you aspire towards. How we view what results look like is going to be individualized for all of us. For some of us, that's a monetary thing. For some of us, that's time. For some of us, that's, that's clients, that's views, that's subscribers, whatever. Figuring out what it is you're measuring to make you happy in what you're doing. For me, it's impact. That's why that comment meant so much to me. My goal when I jump on here every single week, I don't care if it's one person that tunes in as long as it's making an impact. If you're chasing the wrong thing, hoping that it's gonna fulfill you, you're gonna be running in a circle. As I mentioned, it's so easy to give up on something when we don't have those instant results. But if I had given up on this podcast, because there's been times that I was like, eh, strongly considering it because I'm like, my views are not as high as I feel statistically they should be. I invest a lot of time into this. Is it worth it? And in the scheme of numbers and time, maybe it's not worth it, but as far as impact, it is worth it. The thing is with anything in life is, if we give up, we'll never know. If I had given up on this podcast, the times that I considered it, I would have never gotten that comment from that person. I likely never would have gotten the opportunity to be a keynote speaker and to now be booked into so many schools to speak. I never would have been able to share my story and make an impact on so many youth lives if I hadn't stuck with it. You never know when that next turn is coming, that next opportunity, if you give up. Maybe you're sitting there and thinking, well, I don't really know what my thing is yet. I think that this also plays true for getting started with something. You do not know what could happen if you just decided to start. Starting is the hardest part because you're laying it out on the line. You're taking a leap. But if starting is one of the hardest parts and then you have momentum and you're off to the races, at least then you can say that you tried. But by never starting in the first place or by giving up when it gets hard or by giving up when you're not getting the results you feel you deserve, you will never, ever, ever get to a place where you can feel that. You have to have faith and belief 
in what you're doing. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. I know with every ounce of my heart how much it sucks and hurts to admit. I've gotten the most love and kindness on my mental health journey and mission and podcast of sharing from people that I don't know, strangers on the internet or people in person that are strangers that I've never met, have given me more words of kindness, affirmation and encouragement than the people closest to my heart. Yet we value so deeply what the people in our immediate circle think about what we're doing and that holds us back and keeps us playing small. I don't know why it is that it works that way. It's frustrating, it's annoying, but people out there will support and encourage you. You will find your people. Don't give up because those around you are telling you you are not capable, you cannot do something. We value so much the opinions of other people over our own intuition and internal voice. I remember when I wanted to first start my podcast, I wanted to start it before I actually did. And I remember my partner at the time had made a joke about it. And that stuck with me. And so I didn't do it until finally I just decided, I feel pulled to do this and my heart is telling me to do it and I want to do it. And I trust and believe that the right people will support me. You need to trust and believe in that for yourself, that the right people will find you, but it takes time. I'm only now over two years into this journey, starting to find people that care and that are in alignment and that can openly verbalize to me that what I'm sharing resonates, that are able to tell me kind words. There's such a deep part of little Jesse inside that's just still in shock at the fact that I'm getting the support that I am. Because when we learn to believe certain things about ourselves, specifically from childhood, it's easy to keep that narrative playing in our head and it holds us back. As I've shared many times, just like growing your belief, getting outside your comfort zone, the only way that we can start to change that for our lives is to pivot what we're doing is to try something different. It's to take that leap of faith. It's to be curious and lean into it. And you know what? We're good at telling ourselves all the things that could go wrong. What if we began to get curious about all the things that could go right? That's been my new inner dialogue and it's very freeing. And it's a very fun thought to have of like, okay, this, this, and the other thing could go wrong. It could go to shit. But, but, what if all these other great things happen? Who's to say that they they can't, they wouldn't? Because if you're passionate about something and you're putting the work into something, inevitably, eventually, if you stick with it and you don't give up, you will see benefits of that. You will see results from that. For some of us, it happens instantaneously. For others, it takes a decade but you will not know if you give up. I am nowhere near where I want to be. But even just the fact that I get that positive feedback and that I've been getting the opportunities that I have is already so much more than I ever believed was possible. Me three years ago, didn't think that I was worthy of even living. I did not think that my voice mattered. I did not think my experiences mattered. I did not think that me being a podcaster would help anybody. But I chose to just keep going and to try because my heart felt pulled to do it. And here I am now, later, starting to see that. And I don't share this to talk about me, but I share it because I know what it's like to be in those dark places feeling like you're 10 steps, 100 steps behind everybody else feeling like, who am I to do something? I have a quote in my tracking system that says, who am I not to, right? We're so good at saying, who am I to do something, but who am I not to do something? Why shouldn't you chase your dreams? Why shouldn't you go after them? Why should you give up? Keep going, pivot if you must. 
pivot what you're doing, the amount that I've changed what I'm doing over the last couple of years, insane amounts. And I'm embarking on a new journey to pivot what I'm doing. We start to connect the dots as we get momentum and as we get experience and as we learn and as we grow. But if we give up and we just stop trying, you will never get to a place where any of that is remotely possible. We think that we will stumble upon these things. My friend, we don't stumble upon them. We work towards it. We stay with it. We believe in it. We believe in ourselves. And if you are not at a place that you believe in yourself yet, I hope you can borrow a little bit of my belief in you. Because I know my relationship with myself and with my head and with my work. And I know that I certainly did not believe in myself. There's still so many ounces of doubt. But I also know, who am I not to try? I would rather be on my deathbed at the end of my life, looking back, knowing that I tried, knowing that I gave it my all, knowing that I didn't give up, knowing that I followed my heart, knowing that I stayed in alignment as best as possible. Where in your life do you maybe need to shift and pivot? Where you're investing your time, where you need to realign, where you need to focus your precious time and energy to make sure that it is towards something that you believe in, knowing that eventually you will feel the goodness of that. I know it doesn't seem possible sometimes in the moment, but you'll never know if you give up. Keep going. You got this. I promise you, you got this and you never know what could happen. Trust me, if 10 year old, 15 year old, even 20 year old Jesse knew that I would be here talking to you, talking in front of a group of over 200 people and getting the feedback that I'm getting, I never would have believed you. But it has been through work, endless work behind the scenes that I've been able to get here. Never doubt your abilities with your work, your effort and your consistency. You got this, I believe in you. I'm wishing you all the most incredible week. It is almost December. January is coming up, which means time to set new goals. Let that momentum start now. Don't wait a month. Kickstart whatever it is now and anything that you've put down because you stopped having belief in yourself, pick it back up and just see what happens and notice how it feels. I believe in you. You got this. And I look forward to chatting with you all on Thursday. Bye, you guys.